Good morning. Welcome to my channel. It's Sunday morning and I just wanted to say hi to everybody and show you a little bit of what I've been working on. Okay. Uh, that one's for last because I need your advice. Okay. The throw blanket that I'm working on and this will go quickly. This only takes three skeins of this and it makes a really nice throw. So I showed you that yesterday. Um, I'm making a blanket for Christmas for my 13-year-old granddaughter. She just redid her whole bedroom in ocean colors, and she has big, like, you know, the fishing net on her wall with little starfish and shells and stuff in it, and it's all nautical. And, and before that, her favorite color has always been teal. So this is going to be a blanket for her bed. Isn't that pretty? So this is just single crochet because I am not that talented. So I do know how to do double crochet, but I don't know how to do any fancy, fancy stuff. So, and the, I've got my stuff in my bag here. The dreaded Easter blanket. And we're getting there. I switched colors again. I'm gonna go blue. Now this is gonna be blue, then the pink, then this pink, then this pink, then I'm going to do another stripe, and I'm going to repeat all this, and that's going to be it. It's not going to be a huge blanket, maybe a baby blanket, but that's it. It's getting all wrinkled. I should roll it so it doesn't keep getting wrinkled. Okay. So that's that and I have okay last night I looked up a bunch of um patterns tutorials I want to make a giant about this big tote with the handle on top nothing fancy uh, just to carry yarn in or whatever just because I, I want to make a tote now the slippers and the hats I've looked at many tutorials, and they confused the ever-loving crap out of me, so I just kind of made up my own thing. Now, I kind of want to do the same with the totes, because a lot of them were, like, uh, crocheting in the round at the bottom, and then they went up, and then they made the tote, and I can't do that. I tried. Wanda, I tried. <laughs> so, um, Daisy, so, um... What I'm going to do, and I do want some kind of flat surface for the bottom of the tote. And then up on both sides because, you know, I was going to make just two flat pieces and connect them. But then the, the bottom of it will look like this. And I want the bottom to be a little bit flat. So what I did is this last night. This is going to be a big tote. I think I'll start over because this is going to be too big with the size of this thing. <laughs> no, this is going to be way too big for a tote. Okay, I'm going to start over and make it like this big. <laughs> what was I thinking? This a blanket, not a toe. Oh my god! I can't even imagine. I carry it. So okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna take this apart and start over. Now, what I was thinking was making a piece for the bottom, nice and tight, so nothing falls out. Like yay big, but you know, on the bottom. Then making two sides, and then two flat, two small flat sides two big sides, and then just kind of sewing it all together. So I'm going to make all the pieces, side, side, bottom, then big side, big side. Sew it all together. What do you think? Because I looked at those tutorials and I'm lost. But this is, what was I thinking? This is huge. No, so maybe a tote. Maybe that big. I'll take off that much. Anyway, uh, it was, 
It was late. I was tired. I was just so tired. Okay, we're taking this apart. Anyway, any advice at all? And I did look up Jada and Stitches, and I love her big toe. But I just cannot get that bottom. I can't. The bottom part where they do, like, in the round and stuff, I, I've i tried. It can't, it can't be done. So, but any advice that does not include <laughs> crocheting in the round... I am open for this. I'm taking it apart right now. It's got to go. So anyway, I bought Daisy May a cat bed. She loves it, thank God, because I love her to pieces. But we're going towards summer now, and to have her giving me all her kitty body warmth is not, not welcome right now. So she loves her kitty bed, and so she's been in that. Oh, Daisy May. The canary's been going at it like teenagers on prom night. So, hopefully, we'll get some eggs soon. And that's it. Happy Sunday morning, everybody. God bless.